As human beings, we want high-quality food in sufficient quantities. But more than ever before, we realize that in our production methods, we must protect the environment and minimize interference with ecological balances. We all share this responsibility. We know that without plant protection, there's no guarantee of food supply or quality. But as individuals, we're responsible for ensuring that plant protection products are applied only when needed, only on the spray target and in the quantity necessary. Some growers still apply plant protection products until runoff. That's when the spray starts dripping from the leaves. Here's a leaf sprayed until runoff which is 1,500 litres per hectare or more in an intensive orchard like this. And here, only 400 litres per hectare was applied. Tests and practice have shown that when applying volume rates lower than the runoff rate, more spray liquid will stay on the leaf. Because foliage density increases during the season, the volume rate should increase accordingly. It also depends on tree size and cutting. To find a suitable volume rate, use chemical label, extension service, and your own experience. Now we'll follow an example of a mist blower calibration to meet a liters per hectare requirement of 400. We assume that good practice of cleaning the sprayer after use has been followed. Half fill the sprayer with clean water. First, we consider forward speed and air volume, which are closely connected to each other. Forward speed decides not only how many hectares can be treated in a day, but in combination with blower capacity, it also influences the air volume available per cubic meter of canopy. The slower the forward speed, the more air available per cubic meter of tree crown, and the better the penetration. This means we could also drive too slowly and carry the droplets through the canopy, increasing wind drift and waste on ground. To follow good practice, the forward speed should be around two to five kilometers an hour. Our blower belongs to the larger category so we decide to work at around five kilometers per hour. Based on the aim of replacing the still air in the canopy with moving air carrying droplets from the sprayer, there's a formula to calculate how much air volume we need for our five kilometers an hour. The calculation of air volume to be moved considers row width times tree height and forward speed. The actual size of canopy within this area is not considered. Naturally, the bigger the canopy and the higher the forward speed, the more air is needed. But the formula is still of value as a general guideline and starting point when adjusting the blower to a specific spray job. For a normal density canopy, we can use this formula to calculate the air volume needed to suit our speed. Speed times spray width times tree height times 1,000 divided by 3 equals the required air volume in cubic meters per hour. We have to know the dimensions of the tree row that we want to penetrate with the spray. If driving in every row, spray width is equal to row spacing. Measure tree height and spray width. 4.5 meters high and 4 meters spray width. With our data, the calculation looks like this. 5 kilometers an hour times 4 meters times 4.5 meters times 1,000 divided by 3 equals 30,000 cubic meters per hour. In the instruction book, we find that when working at 500 RPM, blower gear 1, blade setting 2, we have about 30,000 cubic meters per hour, as we wanted. The blower works most efficiently at 540 RPM, but 500 RPM is acceptable. We need to check the speed. Very often, farmers don't get the intended volume rate because they trust a faulty speedometer. A distance of 100 meters is measured out in the orchard. We time how long it takes to drive the distance at 500 RPM with the sprayer half filled. Distance in meters. 100 meters times 3.6 divided by time in seconds gives the driving speed in kilometers an hour. 
On the rear of the mist blower calibrator, the calculations are already made. In this case, it took 75 seconds to drive 100 meters, and the speed was 4.8 kilometers an hour. Now we have to find the total flow rate. Using the calibrator, we can do the relevant calculations. We start at the bottom by aligning our desired volume rate of 400 litres per hectare with a spray width of 4 metres. Then, without moving the wheel, we look at the top half where we find our speed. And here we can read the total nozzle flow rate on the inner wheel, 12.8 litres per minute. For nozzle choice, we have to consider not only flow rate, but also tree geometry and sprayer type to get the best adaption to the spraying situation. If, for instance, we have a rounded tree shape like this and we want to spray with a sprayer without deflector, we need a nozzle combination using different nozzle sizes applying more liquid at the top and less lower down. On the back of the mist blower calibrator, you find five different suggestions for nozzle combinations, each indicated by a letter, which can also be found on the front side along with the nozzles. Because our trees are not so tall and are cut more or less like a wall, and we have a vertical deflector, we can here use the same nozzle size for all nozzle positions. We just have to decide what nozzle positions should be engaged and how to angle the nozzles in order to target the liquid into the crop without any waste spraying up in open air or directly onto the ground. We use the calibrator again. Align the total number of nozzles to be employed, in our case 16 nozzles, with our flow rate of 12.8 litres a minute. Then return to the bottom half and find the relevant combinations of nozzle size and pressure. If we want to work at six bars, for instance, we'll get our volume rate with the yellow nozzle. Do a visual check. Are all the nozzles functioning? If any nozzles are blocked, remove them and clean with a toothbrush. To find the flow rate per nozzle, Simply look at the number of nozzle equals one, the jug symbol, without turning the wheel. 0.8 liters per minute. Now check the nozzle output on the sprayer. Disengage the blower and fix a hose on the nozzle. Turn on the sprayer and set pressure. Make sure this is done at the 500 RPM that we decided to use earlier in order to get the right air volume. If possible, turn off all nozzles except the one to be checked. Collect nozzle output for one minute. Check if flow rate is identical to that needed. Measure at least three nozzle outputs representing each side of the mist blower. Our average was 0.75 liters a minute, which is a little lower than what we wanted, presumably because of a minor pressure loss from gauge to nozzles. If we're not spot on the intended nozzle flow, we can either readjust pressure until we get the right flow rate, or use the actual measured flow and find the corresponding volume rate on the mist blower calibrator. If the nozzle flow is more than 10% over the calibrator value, it's time to change nozzles. To make an air distribution test, attach ribbon to upper and lower deflectors or spouts. Adjust deflector until the ribbons are aligned with top and bottom of canopy. Drive at the calibrated forward speed. Check with the ribbons that the air is still directed only to canopy and covers all the canopy. A rough way of checking liquid distribution is to look at the spray cloud against the sunlight. With spray test paper, we can more precisely check that spray liquid is restricted to the target area and evenly distributed within the canopy. Place a pole in the middle of the row on each side of the sprayer and some on the outside of the same rows. This way we check distribution from both sides of the sprayer. Spray test paper has been fixed with double-sided tape at 50 centimetre intervals, from 50 centimetres below to 50 centimetres above the canopy. All papers must be facing the driving lane. To check ground deposit, fix paper on something heavy and place on ground under trees and between rows. Spray with the calibrated setting. With a good air adjustment, ground deposit can be minimized. We aim for a uniform coverage from top to bottom of the canopy in the middle of the tree and very little passing all the way through the row. 
High deposit on the ground between rows could be a result of too high an air volume being reflected from the canopy wall, or too high forward speed. Try a lower air volume or slower speed. In the middle of the tree, look for around 20% coverage. Avoid totally blue papers. When satisfied with the result, repeat the spraying one more time to be sure. Keep records of the setting for future spraying. It's a good idea at the same time to do the calculations of how much chemical to add to the tank before being too eager to go spraying. In addition to these basic calibration principles, we shall now mention a few special cases. If using a hardy SPV mist blower, we can adjust the air direction individually for each nozzle. And there's also a possibility of angling spouts backwards, which is very helpful when working in narrow rows, as the distance from the nozzle to canopy can be increased this way. Calibration of a pneumatic vineyard sprayer, treating several rows at a time. Consider how many rows are treated at the same time to find the spray width. Using the calibration wheel, the total flow rate can be found. Align with total number of spouts and read the single spout flow rate at the jug symbol. Find a suitable combination of calibration disc and pressure in the instruction book. And do not forget to check this flow rate by disconnecting the hose and collecting water with the air off. Spraying with hardy cannon or combi, the spray width can be checked using spray test paper. These will at the same time indicate the evenness of the distribution. The total flow rate can be found using the mist blower calibrator, aligning litres per hectare with checked spray width. Then look at the top part to find total litres per minute aligned with the checked forward speed. Flow rate can be checked by timing how long it takes to spray out 100 litres at a fixed pressure. Then calculate 100 litres times 60 divided by time in seconds equals flow rate in litres per minute. If actual flow rate is fairly close to the desired flow rate, look up the actual volume rate on the calibrator in order to add the correct amount of chemical. Otherwise, readjust pressure. Key words in calibration. Forward speed must be adjusted to blower capacity and crop and field conditions, and it must be checked. Remember, slow speed gives better penetration, higher and further reach. Blower air. Try to restrict the blower air to the target area to avoid drift and ground deposit. Total flow rate must be adjusted to the spray job and checked. When you calibrate your mist blower, you also minimize the chance of breakdowns during spraying, as a calibration is an indirect functioning test. Leaks and performance problems will be spotted with clean calibration water in the tank. More guidance for fine-tuning liquid distribution and penetration can be found in the mist blowing technique booklet. With a calibrated sprayer, you can minimize costs and increase profits without harming the environment.